Hey guys, Mystic here, and first of all, before we get on to the main topic, um, I'd like to thank Mr. Luke for kind of prompting me to make a video like this. Um, you know, I watched his video on the whole Mitchell Pierce thing, and I thought it was really good. Raised some good points, and um, at the end of it, he kind of asked, like, what, what, the, what were the Roosters fans' opinions on this? So I thought, well, I'm a Roosters fan, so I think I might give my views on this whole scandal thing with Mitchell Pierce and um all right so um if you want to see the that video um I'll leave a link in the description it was a very very good video but um let's get on to the main topic so after Australia Day the next day a lewd video was put out and it involved Mitchell Pierce and if you guys haven't seen the video already, um, basically what happens in that video, um, it starts off with Pierce making advances towards a woman when she didn't want to, when she didn't want him to, and um, then after that, he performed a sex act with, uh, or simulated a sex act with a dog, and obviously, as if, and obviously he was very, very, very drunk. Drunk as hell, and um, and the video was put out, and for everyone to see. And now, what's my view on this? Um, he definitely needs to be punished in some sort of way. Um, I think the the punishment that everyone's been talking about, and I think it's the most likely scenario that is going to happen. Um, a six week ban in the NRL, I think, and um. Um, fifty thousand dollars fined and banned from the World Club Challenge, and I think the Auckland Nines as well. Now, is that too late? Oh, and also he got stripped of the captaincy as well, and he's been stood down from training, I think, until he gets his problems sorted out. Now, is that too lenient? Maybe it is. You know, there's obviously big call that everyone's hoping that people make is that he gets sacked. Do I think he should be sacked? Maybe he should, but I don't think so. I think this this is probably going to be his last warning, and if he stuffs up again, then he'll get booted out. Which I think is a good thing. Maybe he, this should be his last chance. But And obviously, well, obviously um, with his actions, you can't excuse what he did. Maybe, yes, he was drunk, and when you're drunk, you do stupid things, but he shouldn't have gone on, on a pendant like he did there, and he shouldn't have done what he did. What he did was stupid and wrong, and he deserves to be, pun to be punished. What I think his punishment should be, though, in my opinion, um, do what you did with Jake Friend, where um, you banned him for a few months, and he ended up taking up a job outside of the league. I think he worked at a cafe or something. That's what Jake Friend did. Maybe Pierce should do something like that. Just take up, a, take up a job outside of league and get that better perspective of life outside of football. So that's what I think the punishment should be. Just take him out for a few months and take up a job. Um. So maybe that the that original punishment might be a bit too lenient, but I mean, it's an okay punishment. But it's probably a bit too lenient, but I think that's the one that they're going to roll with at this point. And obviously there's also been a lot of talk of his origin career, if this will be the end of it. Um, I think, um, you know, I, I think his origin career might be over at this point. Honestly, I hope it's not, even though a lot of New South Wales fans are going to disagree with me on this. You know, I, I didn't think, even last last year in Origin, I didn't think Pierce was that bad. Maybe, yes, he... There might have been a couple of players maybe where he got it wrong, but he honestly wasn't that bad last year. But as far as this year, yep, yeah, maybe he should be stood down from Origin this year. Until he gets his act together and proves that really proves to everyone that this sort of thing is not going to happen again. Because he has a lot to prove now. I mean, his reputation has now just been absolutely tarnished now. 
with what's just happened. And actually, as of today, actually, I think earlier in the day, there was a statement released and um, he has actually confronted the media and has apologized for what he did and um, actually um, he's um, acknowledged that he has a problem with alcohol and that he's getting counseling and I think he's going doing rehab stuff I think is what he's doing which is good because he needed to state that he needed to state that he needed to obviously issue the apology and he probably should have stated that he has a problem with it because this obviously isn't the first time that alcohol has been a problem for him. This isn't the first time, obviously. We know the the issue with the woman in the yellow dress, that whole situation. And obviously alcohol might have played a role in that. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, today he did is issue that apology and acknowledge that problem, which is good because that's what he needed to do. But obviously, it still doesn't excuse what he did. It still doesn't excuse that. And again, he has a lot to prove now to make sure that this sort of thing doesn't happen again. Now, my biggest concern of this whole thing is honestly, the cameraman. Where's he for questioning? To take advantage of something like that, to a situation like that, where someone is drunk and they not in their right frame of mind, and they don't have control over what they do, can just pick up a phone and video the whole thing. I think that's just really wrong, just really disgraceful, just to video something like that, just to take advantage of someone that's in a poor state and is gonna do, going to do some wrong things. But to video that and put it on the internet for everyone just to laugh at and to mock him. I think it's just wrong. Yes, I, I'm, I'm still not going to excuse Pierce for what he did. What he did was wrong. But. What the guy did picking up a phone and filming the whole thing I think is wrong. I think that's disgraceful. So I just want to know where's, where's he for questioning. Where, where's he in all this? Yep. I, I I just hope that this that that gets brought up. The fact that um that someone had the just had the audacity to pick up a phone and film something like this, because I just think that's wrong. But again, I'm not going to just push this, this um throw aside the fact that what Pierce did was 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 like was wrong or something like. Yes, we did it. What he did wasn't wasn't right. It wasn't right, and I'm not going to excuse that. But I just want I just want the cameraman just to take responsibility for pointing up something like that. And now, um, and now my last point is that the fact that other players got brought into this, like Sam Moe's name got brought up, that um, Pierce was like, "Oh, my name's Sam Moe," when the cameraman asked who his name was, and then um. <clears throat> and then um, he asked what his middle name is, and then the cameraman thought said, "Oh, is your middle name Blake Ferguson?" And then um, Pierce was like, "Oh, exactly, exactly." And so I feel sorry for Sam Moe and Blake Ferguson, but for being for being brought into this whole situation. And then I also feel bad for Dale Copley, because um, again, if you haven't seen the video, or if you have seen the video video and you've missed it, um, there, was a, there was a person that was sitting on a chair in a pink shirt and all that, and that was Dale Copley, so he was at the party, he was there when that whole situation unfolded, and I feel sorry for him, because he's only just come to the Roosters, and now he's already been involved in something like this, obviously Copley I don't think did anything wrong, he was just sitting there doing nothing, but I feel so bad for him for just coming to the club. And all of a sudden, he's already involved in some big scandal, or whatever. I don't, know. I don't think it's a scandal, but obviously it's a big problem. But I feel sorry. I feel sorry for Copley, Moa, and Ferguson for being brought into something like this. Yeah, <sighs> but so that's my view on it.
maybe he should be taking out taking out the game for a few months and take up a job and obviously do all the counseling stuff and the rehab stuff to make sure that he's all sorted and nothing like this is going to happen ever again but again I just want the cameraman to to take responsibility for putting something like this up on the internet when he shouldn't have when he really shouldn't have because I think just videoing something like that again taking advantage of that situation was just really wrong and obviously again not going to excuse Pierce for his actions what he did was wrong but I just hope that the cameraman can also take responsibility for what he did <clears throat> alright so that's my views on this whole thing again I want to thank Mr. Luke for kind of prompting me to make this sort of video um, if you want to check out his video I'll leave a link in the description and I'll make sure to get a Rugby League Live 2 video out for tomorrow I hope but there has been some storms recently and um, there was actually a, sh a storm just a few hours ago and we had a blackout <laughs> but thankfully power's back so um but yep yeah, that's my view on this whole thing and I'll see you in the next video okay See ya.